Poppy prophecy. Indians warned America for years, and yet nobody listened to them. For centuries, the Hopi Native American tribe have housed tablets handed down by Kachina, their cosmic teacher, onto their shamans predicting events in the world that we are living today. Ancient Hopi tablets give eerie prophecy. For centuries, the elders of the Hopi tribe have tried to get the United States and the rest of the world to listen to what these ancient tablets have to say about our fate. Usually, these efforts were all in vain, that is, until now. A group of scientists has chosen to study these ancient tablets of the Hopi tribe that date back thousands of years, and they have been stunned by what has been discovered on them. The interpretations point to events that have already happened in our history and other events that could happen in the future. Examination of these ancient tablets. The drawings on the tablets that were examined to be made out of colors made from vegetable extracts were also determined to have been created sometime within the time span of 10,000 to 50,000 years ago, five zero. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. So what was outlined on these illustrations could be considered disturbing to say the least. The first tablet goes into a being placed individuals on the earth to populate it and to live in four divided sections and races. The reason for the division was to make it so that each race could learn various things to come together to share their knowledge. The one in charge was known as the Great Spirit. How we look upon this individual in our day and, and our daily lives, it can be determined that this tablet goes into creation in general with one being overseeing it. Now the shocking prophecies of these tablets. Another tablet made reference to the major shock that involved the entire planet. This shock, given the drawings, is determined, determined to be World War I. There was also around this time a drawing of a worm moving towards the heavens which could be referred to as the first aircraft ever to be used. After the first major war was resolved, there are illustrations of trying to bring everyone together, which could be an illustration of the League of Nations being formed. Another tablet displayed the sun rising in the west, which is a symbol of Japan. Then there is a, then there's a symbol of a white pumpkin dust being fired, which is the illustration of an atomic bomb, both of which indicates World War II. If this isn't enough to give pause, there are illustrations symbolizing the attacks on September 11, 2001, along with other man-made disasters, but the tablets also outline disasters by Mother Nature, which we have also witnessed in recent years, with the hurricanes and earthquakes that have occurred throughout the planet, devastating many. Perhaps one of the most disturbing that has been studied isn't what has been, but what will take place, what will be in the future. Why? Because there are tablets that could be illustrating a third major strike, which could mean perhaps World War III. Now, the authenticity of these tablets. No doubt some might say that these tablets are open to interpretation, and maybe these scientists are reading them into them what they want. After all, these are only pictures, not words. Yes, but a picture has been said to be worth a thousand words. Some could also say that this could be a coincidence, but then there are those of us who believe that nothing is coincidental. The Hopi tribe predicts the end of the world after eight previous accurate predictions. For centuries there have been several prophets that predicted well-known events in our history with accurate foreshadowing. Some of the most famous of these tellers are Nostradamus or Baba Vanga, well, both of them, though, however, are supposedly demonic-influenced. Mother Shipton and many other prophets refer to the Holy Bible. 
One of the cultures with the most mysterious history is the Native Americans from the Hopi tribe. They tell stories of their people emerging in the New World deep from below the earth. In other words, they were dwelling in secure places because they knew something would have taken place that would shock the earth, and they saved themselves by living underground in subterranean dwellings. So they emerged from below the earth with the help of an intelligent species resembling ant-like creatures mixed with humanoid features. Ancient elders from the tribe speak of prophecies that have and are yet to be fulfilled, including, quote, white men coming to their land, end quote, which refers to the explorers settling in the Americas or the, quote, seas turning black, end quote, which speaks of the 2010 Gulf oil spill. There are nine predictions in total, with the last one still bound to happen. It tells of a calamity from the sky, represented by a blue light. The ancient Hopi Indian prophecy states, when the blue star Kachina makes its appearance in the heavens, the fifth world will emerge. This will be the day of purification. The Hopi name for the star Sirius is Blue Star Kachina. So the Hopi predict the apocalypse after eight previously eerily accurate prophecies. The Native American tribes predict global disasters, eerie accuracy, saying the world will end in the near future as a comet will smash into Earth. The Hopi tribe is still strong with 18,327 individuals as of 2010, and they describe how the apocalypse will arrive. After a string of other predictions proved true, many are now fearing the worst. The tribe claim that we now live in the fourth world after the previous three were destroyed by fire and ice. A previous, the previous nine predictions were passed on to U.S. Minister David Young in 1958 after he encountered a Hopi elder named White Feather. White Feather told Mr. Young that his ancestors have previously foretold the arrival of the white-skinned men, referring to Europe's discovery of Americas, and that our lands will see the coming of spinning wheels filled with voices, the subsequent conquering of the continent. He added, a strange beast like a buffalo, but with great long horns will overrun the land in large numbers, as cattle grazed, grazing was subsequently introduced. His fourth prediction that his ancestors forecasted, he claims, was that, quote, the land will be crossed by snakes of iron, end quote, with railway laid across North America, and his fifth saying that, quote, the land shall be crisscrossed by a giant spider's web, end quote, which may have linked the telephone and internet communication. The sixth was the introduction of roads and motorways after he said that his ancestors claimed, quote, the land shall be crisscrossed with rivers of stone that make pictures in the sun, end quote. Then White Feather gave some predictions for the, the then future. He said, quote, you will hear of the sea turning black and many living things dying because of it, end quote, which could refer to the 2010 Gulf oil spill, and, quote, you will see many youth who wear their hair long like my people come and join the tribal nations to learn their ways and wisdom, end quote, which may have linked to the counterculture of the 60s and 70s. Finally, in the prediction, many are beginning to fear, he said, quote, you will hear of a dwelling place in the heavens above the earth that shall fall with a great crash. It will appear as a blue star. Very soon after this, the ceremonies of my people will cease, end quote. While White Feather's predictions remain open to interpretation, there are several strong theories. Some believe it could refer to a comet that crashed into Earth and causing a mass extinction, while others feel it's linked to the Chinese Tiangdong-1, a blue satellite that lost communications with China earlier in the year, is predicted to come hurling back towards Earth at some point. Many believe the predictions were passed onto the tribe by aliens, as ancient cave drawings by the Hopi people depict humans accompanied by quote-unquote ant people 
which strongly resemble many people's ideas of what ETs might look like. The Hopi people believe the ant people guided their ancestors into the new world. Ancient Hopi claim to, emerge, to have emerged from inner earth underground shelters. That's how they saved their lives during one of the past cataclysms. The truth is stranger than fiction. What we were taught since our childhood is what we consider as truth. But is this world really what it seems? The Hopi Indians claimed that their ancestors had arrived from the inner part of the earth rather than the north as claimed. Their ancestors are said to have emerged from deep inside with openings at the Grand Canyon. They emerged from the underground due to floods which destroyed the third world. The Grand Canyon is considered as their sacred site for them and nobody else is allowed except for the Hopi people in those sites and they perform sacred ceremonies to honor their ancestors. Hopi ancestors emerged from the underground, from the area of the Grand Canyon. Several explorers have discovered huge caves with numerous entrances, and there are speculations that many other races might still be residing underground. In fact, a citadel and various artifacts were also discovered by G.E. Kincaid while on a rafting, a rafting on Colorado River. Strange writings on tablets were discovered. The writings were also very similar to ancient Aramaic and uh, at the time ancient Egyptian writing. One particular aspect of Hopi legend is that they were helped by the entities with antenna, the ant people, who they considered their deities. Not only in Grand Canyon, albeit in many parts of the world, ancient caves with intricate entrances were found with evidence that some civilizations have resided there. So if this is true, then the inner earth has been home to many species of beings since time immemorial. The fact that this planet is hollow is emerging into reality. Not only were many ancestral tribes living there, but also there are huge cities underground where their species reside. They are claimed to be of superior intelligence and they have their energy source like our sun, maybe made artificially. These subterranean species of ancient civilizations escaped underground as it was much safe there from the external threats like a meteor impact, nuclear war, or any other natural calamity. While humans who reside on the surface are being told a blatant lie that the core of the Earth is filled with molten lava, we're sure that NASA and other international bodies and Illuminati already know that there could be cities underground. And they may themselves have built their own cities underground, their own bunkers, which will be their escape paths for the selected few if any emergency rises. As for example, such a thing as a comet impact, Earth impact, or Nibiru. I leave links below for you for this.